government spending can only occur following the government taxing firms and workers. Government can spend some or all of the tax it raises and it can borrow additional amounts to spend in excess of the revenue it has raised in tax. The first implication of this is the effect of these decisions on the budget deficit. Having a budget deficit means the government have borrowed and spent more money than they have raised in taxation. In effect, they have spent all of their taxation revenue and then borrowed more and spent that as well. The budget deficit can be cyclical or structural. Cyclical is due to fluctuations in the economic cycle. When the economy is in recession, the government is likely to inject more money into the economy in the form of government spending or lower taxation in order to help the economy to recover. Structural deficit stems from an imbalance between public spending and taxation. This is more of a judgment on the government's management of the nation's finances. If they are spending more than they are taxing, then there will be a deficit regardless of where the economy is in regard to the economic cycle. Any form of deficit means that the government needs to borrow in order to meet its spending and taxation promises. This borrowing is an injection into the circular flow and through the multiplier will cause the economy to grow. A surplus means that the government have put back less into the economy than they took out in taxation. This will be a leakage to the circular flow and will contract the economy.